Good afternoon. afternoon from Marissa. Which is one of many beach slash resort towns that is dotted along the southern coast of Sri Lanka. We have been here for about four days and we decided to come here to just have some chill time, hang by the pool and by the ocean. And we kind of took a little bit of time off of filming on purpose because there's really not a huge amount to do here, but relax. But we do want to show you the highlights of our time in Marissa because there have been many and it's definitely a great spot to come if you like beach towns, resort towns, if you want good food, good weather, nice people, just like the rest of the country really. So we're going to show you what a typical day has looked like for us as we've gone through each day. But first of all, we're going to take you on a room tour. Not a good time. Sorry. Just get him. Come on in. Welcome to our room in Marissa. This is the Blue Whale Holiday Resort, I think it's called. Everything will be in the description anyway. Let's start off. So, first of all, we have these absolutely gigantic beds. One of these is for each of us, which combines to make probably the largest king bed I think I've ever seen. Is this like what they call a California king? I like mean, two double beds? It may well be. It may well be. It's quite possible. And then on top of that, they have some beautifully arranged towels. I think it's kind of shaped. I'm not sure. And then aside from that, they have all sorts of different coat hooks and a little bit of shelving space for reasons. And same thing here, and then you also have like a half length mirror up here for your top half, just to check yourself out if you feel like doing that. Hey everyone! Come and see how good I look! We've got one bedside table, which seems to have just about enough storage for everything you need, and a gigantic lamp, because why not? And then we have a dressing table, which has definitely some, oh, just about enough space for a second draw. You clearly need to work out more. We've been, you've been skipping arm day. Thanks for the reminder. I really need that. I'll do that here, so that's all good. That's where I'm going to do my makeup. Yeah, it actually works out pretty well because that's tall enough for me and this is tall enough for you. It's almost like they made it custom for us. The other really cool thing that you notice, and this is really one of the best things about any place like this, AC, what a godsend. Oh, yay. Okay, anyway, um, we then also have a very decently sized wardrobe. Not that we're probably going to use it or anything, but it's, it's that. Stay. Nothing happened here. You saw nothing. Need a little desk. Um, I guess I just used that to sit here. And then I seem to have, again, plenty of storage space. I'll just make sure I'm not doing my makeup when you need to edit. Yes, that'll work. And then we come through here into the bathroom. Welcome, welcome. Notice how Nick has to duck everywhere he goes. Yeah, the walls, and especially things in this country, are not built for me. First of all, we have a water heater, which is fantastic, so that I'm very excited to have a shower later. Um, and the shower is adjustable. In previous places, then the shower head has been lower than this, and it has not been adjustable, so that's made for some interesting times. Again, the world is not made for you. No, it's not. Hello darkness, my old friend. Toilet with questionable stains on it, but we'll just gloss over that. And then sink with a bunch of amenities, some of which are not exactly clearly labelled, but we will discover that as we go along. And then head our if you want it. We start off every morning with breakfast that is provided at our hotel. Some mornings we would just chill by the pool, but other ones we would do an excursion. The two main ones that we've done have been to Marissa Beach and also to Secret Beach, which is not really much of a secret. After 
after a morning by some body of water and in the sun, we would be ready to eat some lunch. We are just heading to lunch now at a place called Mom's Spices. We accidentally stumbled across it when we first arrived because it was well past lunchtime and we were starving. And so I did a quick Google search and this place came up as having really good reviews. The prices seemed totally reasonable and it's like a stone's throw away from our hotel. So we turn up and the food was incredible. And while we were there, we met a Swiss couple who has been there several times because this is not, it was not their first time in Sri Lanka. They raved about their roti and curry, which we saw them eating, whereas we'd had more of like a light lunch. So we ended up going back for dinner and it was superb as well. I also posted about our lunch there and it turns out that our friends from Canada came to this exact restaurant when they were here last year. We had no idea, so it was purely a coincidence. They said, look, it is the best quality of food by far in this part of Sri Lanka. The prices are reasonable. The mom and daughter who run it just put so much love and care into the food they make. It's all completely natural and pure. And so that was just enough for us, as I said, to come back for dinner. Fantastic. And I don't know, this is going to be our haunt while we're here in Marissa, I feel like. Most definitely. I mean, considering the value for money that you're getting out of it, as well as almost that kind of homely feel when you actually come in and just knowing that you're kind of almost treated part of the family. How can you possibly pass that up? So yeah, super excited to be going back. And we're excited to share it with you. It's kind of a little bit off the beaten path. It's down a more residential small street. Yeah. And there is a sign outside, but then it can be confusing as to if they're open or which driveway to go up. Because but do not let that put you off because more often than not than they are open and they'll be more than happy to see you and give you some of the best food that you will have tried in this country. Yeah, just go up the driveway and peek around because it's almost like the restaurant is like in their front garden. Yep. two smoothie bowls. One is the Choco Magic Smoothie Bowl and the other is the Green Magic Smoothie Bowl and they both come with like granola and seasonal fruit and then I had this the first time we came here. It is a whipped iced coffee but all it says on the menu is iced coffee so I didn't know it was going to be whipped and it is the most delicious thing you have ever tried. You don't need milk, you don't need sugar. It tastes so good. just as good as I remember. I want this every day in my life. Yesterday when we came here, then I was packaged for something fruity but healthy. So I went for a mango smoothie bowl. And honestly, it was incredible. And so since that is one of three different options that they have for smoothie bowls on their menu, we decided to try the other two today. So this one is a chocolate one and so as you can see here it has some seasonal fruit it has the base which is uh, chocolate and banana smoothie mix and then some passion fruit as well as granola i like to mix it all together that is so good each of the fruits that they've selected here definitely goes well with the chocolate anyway. And the chocolate is not overpowering, it just blends in very nicely. All in all, just lovely. I am taking a cube from Nick and mixing this one all up here. I cannot wait to try this because I didn't try a smoothie bowl yesterday. I had one of their smoothies, which was equally, I'm sure, as phenomenal. Mm. That's awesome. I think the base of this is banana, mango, and spinach. And I love that the granola just gives it some crunch. This one is so refreshing. And now I really want to try the mango smoothie bowl that you had yesterday too. So, I mean, there's two more for that. Because they realized that we're making a video about 
uh, restaurant, then they have been so kind as to also throw in their own pancakes as well. So this is made from coconut milk, white flour and turmeric and it's stuffed with honey and coconut and then wrapped around and then it's got a selection of fruit, what looks like some ice cream as well and I think this might be some kind of syrup with passion fruit in it. As you can see it looks just spectacular, I cannot wait to try this. Wow. This looks phenomenal, I cannot wait. Food porn at its best. Right? <laughs> Do those eyes say everything? Best pancakes I've ever tried. It's just so beautifully put together. There's a little bit of spice off the turmeric, which is amazing. And we've had pancakes with coconut and honey before, but just the blend with the slight hint of spice and the fruit, and also the syrup, which adds an extra layer on top of that. And whatever is also in this ice cream, this is just a perfect plate of food. It's so good. I can't wait to try this. Nick has made this sound absolutely mouth watering. That is indescribable. It's the combination with the fresh fruit, though, too. It makes all the difference. That is wild how good that is. In the afternoons, we would then find ourselves back in the pool. However, for one evening, we did decide to take in the sunset at Coconut Tree Hill, which was just beautiful. And finally, once the evening set in, we would head back out for dinner. As promised, we are back at Mom's Spices and we are going to sit down and enjoy some dinner. So Rachel has ordered a roti with curries and I've ordered rice with curry as we've had them before and they are glorious. We cannot wait. I am curious to see what curries come with them mm -hmm. tonight because I think she makes it all totally fresh yep. with whatever ingredients are available that day so it'll likely be different from what we had last night exactly it's come with a dal curry a banana curry which i'm very curious about that because i haven't tried one yet pumpkin curry and then aubergine curry here and i know this is going to be phenomenal because of how great it was yesterday i cannot wait to eat this so we've had these curries before and we know that they're fantastic. Cannot recommend them highly enough. However, this banana curry, as Rachel's alluded to, is really intriguing. Haven't tried it yet, let's give it a go. Mmm. That's so good. It's interesting because it kind of with the spices and things, it seems to have taken the actual banana flavor almost completely out of it. It's just a vessel for the spice, and it's so good because the curry sauce that it's put in is just heavenly. It's so good. You have to come here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Their menu is suited. Second to none. Yeah, it's second to none. You will find something for any of those three meals, and it can be made for vegans, vegetarians, omnivores, because they also have like chicken and fish and yeah. egg and stuff like that. Whatever your dietary needs, they've got something sorted out for you. It's fantastic. Yeah. And that would be how we would spend most of our days. It has been a genuine pleasure to be here in Marissa. We've had such a good time. It's provided us with exactly the kind of relaxation I think we both needed. Sri Lanka has just been the most phenomenal country. I cannot recommend this country enough. Everyone should come here. You experience tropical beach, 
jungle, green mountains, the natural beauty is absolutely everywhere and so different between various parts of the country. The people are ridiculously friendly and so helpful and honest. The food is delicious. There is something for everyone here, whether it be history, culture, adventure, natural beauty, relaxation. We are going to miss this country so much. We would have stayed longer, but I know we'll be back one day. Most definitely. But next up, we have an all new country to experience and we're equally excited for that. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling.